up guys welcome back to the channel oh that right there oh yeah that's the new 2022 tundra <laughs> yep i finally got to see it firsthand in person and i gotta admit this thing looks really good yeah, i can't wait to buy it now i really really want to buy this i mean i wanted to buy it before but now i 100 percent want to get one if it gets good gas mileage with the v6 twin turbo i'll be happy 20 miles per gallon 22 23 i'll be happy because my uh, 2014 tundra only got 13 miles a gallon 14 miles per gallon so i'd be happy with that if it got 20 on top of that the v6 uh, it gets pretty good power. It's a twin turbo. So, yeah, I would, I'm getting more power, more torque out of a V6 than my V8. I'm happy with that. So, I know there's a big argument over V6 twin turbo versus V8. And I was one of those guys that did not like the idea of going to V6. But now that I think about it, you know, the Toyota Supra was a six cylinder with a turbo. Um, Lexus makes a V6 and a V8 turbo. Uh, Nissan did the Skyline V6 twin turbo. So there's a lot of six cylinder turbo vehicles out there that did really well. And here's the thing, turbos die from heat. And these modern vehicles nowadays, they really control the heat much better than they used to 20 years ago. So you can imagine a small turbo with all kinds of cooling is probably going to be way more reliable than an old turbo from 20 years ago. So there must be a reason why they went with turbos on the V6 because probably because they figured it out. They can use them as daily drivers. They're reliable. But again, we'll see. And you know what? The fact that Toyota's doing it and they've done it before with other turbo V6s in their Lexus lineup. I trust them. So there you go, guys. That's a look at the uh, Toyota Tundra. This is a nice Tacoma. You don't really see white camo very often. I like this. I can imagine driving around Tahoe in the wintertime with that winter camo. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. got some kind of bed liner on the fender wells too. Check out this Tacoma with the Sony in the grill. Clearly this is uh basically a Sony project vehicle. I like these LEDs though. See how the LEDs are in the pod right there where the fog lights normally are? Not feeling these wheels too much. Not really feeling these steps either. And here's where they're showing off all their speakers. Twenty three zero roof uh, tent. I like those guys. And of course, you got to have a big screen TV when you're out camping, so everybody in the forest can see your bright TV just ruining their experience out in nature. <laughs> just kidding, now this this is just for SEMA or for shows in general, just to show off their stuff. It's a Forerunner. The ARB front bumper. Those ARB bumpers are huge. Whoa, this thing has got everything on it, man. Everything in the kitchen sink. Look at that. You got fuel, you got water. Look how big the protection is there. I like that. There's a little table there for prep. Got your dramatic fridge. 
on a easy slide. Dobinson's truck box. More storage containers in there. I like these flip down tables, that's nice. He's got an axe bolted on there. Everything in the kitchen sink. Notice something, right? He's got an e bike. This is a quiet cat, fat tire e bike with a mid drive motor. And it's sitting on the hitch. And then it kind of folds out. That's kind of crazy how far it actually folds out. You'd think that it, it would like snap off. It's so, so far out there. The leverage on that thing is nuts. And these e bikes are heavy. This is like a 70 pound bike, I think with the battery pack and the motors. That's like 70 pounds. If you put two of them on here, man, I'd be kind of worried. But you can do it. Like I said, everything in the kitchen sink, man. So you got this Tacoma, full body wrap. It's got like a topographical design on it that's kind of cool oh CBI armor I like CBI can't break it CBI very nice fuel wheels I think those are fake bead locks but they look good I mean I don't know they could be real let me know in the comments below what you think what is this? Handcrafted in the USA. AMS-1. I've never seen that before. Agency 6. That's what it is. You can tell this is a CBI bumper because of that long piece of armor there. They're kind of famous for that. I like that. That's nice. Hopefully CBI makes some bumpers for the new Tundra. I get my Tundra. Very nice. I see a WeBoost. I think that's a WeBoost, yeah. Right here for uh, cell phone communications when you're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, CBI makes the rack too. Oh, that's cool. So they actually make the, uh, the bed rack. I like that. I might have to do that with my truck. Prince Pretty much everybody puts these Prince racks on their Tacomas because they fit so well. I like that. All right, so over here we got a Land Cruiser. I don't know what year this, oh, this might be one of the new ones. Yeah, because I know they're building these still brand new. Yeah, that's nice, but it looks retro. Land Cruiser. Nice big old bumper. I think that's ARB, yeah. Big snorkel. This has got the pop top. This is a troopy, troopy style. Got the pop top roof. That's not a rooftop tent. Really, it's more part of the vehicle. Ah, oh, that's nice, man. Look at that. You get a bench here. You could work on your counter here. If you're working on a computer on the road as a photographer or whatever, videographer. You could store a bike in here if you really wanted to, I guess. This converts to a bed. There's your refrigerator, a bunch of storage. You got a lot of stand-up room. That's cool. Oh, I see. So this converts into a bed and then that roof comes down and you can sleep on that too. So you can actually sleep maybe two, three, maybe four people in here. That's nice. I like that table built into the door. That's cool, man. Very cool. Check out this beautiful Lexus GX460. Oh my God, that is nice. It's got a lift kit. Pro cop lift kit. It's like a pearl white. Fuel wheels. Day glow green. Beadlock 
rings. LRD. What's LR? Oh, Lexus Racing Development. <laughs> LRD. That's funny. Got a roof rack with a tent up there. Air and mat tracks. They actually have the stock bumpers. That's surprising for SEMA. Stock front and stock rear. Which is nice. It's kind of clean. They do have a hitch mounted spare tire carrier. This is by Rigid. I remember seeing those guys at Overland Expo. It's nice. So you can still carry a full size spare without buying a whole new bumper. And you can carry fuel too. It's got two fuel packs back here. I suck at overlanding. <laughs> Well, that's nice though. It's simple. I mean, it just has a lift kit, big tires, and spare in the back. That's actually not too crazy. But it looks good. Lexus is probably going to be uh, the next vehicle a lot of people are going to want to buy since everyone's buying all the Land Cruisers. So they're going to they're gonna be going to the Lexus vehicles after that when the uh, Land Cruisers start running out. Here's another Lexus GX. Man, this thing is beautiful. I wouldn't even want to get this thing dirty. I mean, on one hand, I do want to get it dirty. Give me the keys and just go out there and have fun with this thing and get it all dirty. But on the other hand, it's so pretty, I don't want to get it dirty. Look at that. LRD. Where you going? Lexus Racing oh, Development. <laughs> that is so nice. Again, this one has the uh, original bumpers. They did not rip off the bumpers, but they did cut into it a little bit to do the exhaust, the custom exhaust. That's nice. Then they have the hitch mounted spare tire, which is really cool. I like that. I mean, it basically allows you to customize your uh, vehicle without chopping it up because you could just mount it right into your hitch. That's nice. It swings away. It's got capabilities for fuel or water. Look at this, he bolted on um, a ladder to get to the top. Looks like it just bolts onto the bottom of your, uh, your door and then hooks onto the top. It probably has rubber there to keep it from damaging. Yeah, it looks like uh, you have to have some kind of adapter plate there to keep it from damaging your vehicle, but that's pretty cool. I don't know if I really need a ladder to get to the top, but if you have a tent up there or if you have a bunch of gear, I guess it does come in handy. Pretty wild. That is a little over the top for me personally, but it still looks cool. And then he's got this uh, molly plate on the side here. And it looks like it's, yeah, it looks like it's suction cup to the glass. I don't know if I would trust this being suction cup to your glass. It's a good idea, but I'd have to test it to see how good it works. Because can you imagine going out camping and then this thing falls off and you don't know it? And now you just lost a couple gallons of gas and a $200 shovel. <laughs> nice wheels. This one has bulk wheels too, like the other one I saw. King Reservoirs. RSG Rock Sliders. That's nice. Very nice. And look at that. Look at that uh, grill. That's a classic Lexus grill. Spindle grill, as they call it. I like to call it a Black Widow kind of grill. That is beautiful. Oh, it's an F Sport. I wonder if it's a real F Sport. You know, knowing SEMA, this is probably a real F Sport that they that they customized for this project. That's nice. Look at this. This Lexus GX is beautiful. So, look at the little touch here. Bumper goes all the way, protects all of your body. You got mounting points here for recovery. Got this beefy ladder here. It's actually built into the bumper, not the tailgate itself, which is nice. Double jerry can holder, full size spare 
that is just so nice man. i'm such a geek when it comes to these guys as gear man it's so nice and then look at this again lexus is a little different you know they, they're kind of they have a crazy grill in the lexus so they matched lexus lexus's design because they have the spindle grill well they went ahead and matched the design of their lexus spindle grill that just looks so cool oh that's nice it makes me want to buy a lexus and then do this rig right here <laughs> that is so cool here's a nice looking tacoma very clean like that little halo conversion they got going up there two bumpers total chaos suspension king reservoirs i like the small wheels with the big tires so 35s on 17s with beadlocks. That's actually a really good look. I love it. Fender flares. Some ditch lights from Baja. Front runner rack. That's nice. Of course, can't break it. Bumper. Probably a CBI sliders as well, I'm assuming. That's beautiful. I feel like I've seen this before, but you know what? It's so pretty that it needs to be seen again. It's a nice combination with the, the gray, black, and red. A rack. Oh, that's a Lightner. Lightner rack. He's got some kind of, I don't know what that is. Fluid maybe? I don't know what that is oil i don't know what that is tell me in the comments below what this is what is that some kind of liquid for sure i don't know if it's water gas or oil of course the white one's probably water very nice here's a nice toyota tacoma it's got spare some hot fuel in the back it's nice there's another good looking Tacoma it's a TRD Pro it's been crazy customized I like that bumper. Very nice. This color, this wrap, I, I think that's a wrap. It's a beautiful color though. It's like a gunmetal gray, I think maybe, with a little bit of camo blended in there. Hirsch X, I'm not familiar with that name. The icon suspension, Fox. Got the Fox Resis in there. Dirt King AR. Very nice. This is a good looking truck. C4. That's who it is. I think that's what that is. C4, right? got all his stuff packed back here mat tracks and tons of water got an awning up there that's nice see I like these these uh, shells and stuff. I mean, the racks are cool and all, but when you go off-roading, all the dust and water and leaves and sand and everything goes in your truck. I actually kind of like the idea of having something enclosed like this to keep your stuff clean and dry, yet you can still put all your stuff on it. Like these one, this, I don't know who makes this one, but it looks really rugged. 
you can tell that's overbuilt so you can have weight on it and you can put like I don't know two three four hundred pounds on top of this thing and bolt stuff to the sides which is nice beautiful Tacoma check it out armadillo booth at SEMA so this is like kind of like a bull bar normally the bull bar would be tiny right a little you small thing you just mount it right underneath and it looks like a bumper <laughs> it looks like a bumper you still keep the original bumper and then you have a bull bar in front and then you have some steps and racks in the back so yeah that's kind of cool this is for the guy that doesn't want to take off his original bumper you can run a bull bar that looks like a bumper you can't put a winch on it but you can put lights it's a good place to mount your lights this is a nice tacoma again not too crazy for sema but definitely customized quite a bit icon suspension volk wheels under these 315s I like that bumper it's kind of like a two bumper slash mini bumper it's like a mini bumper with tube extensions that's nice Hardcore, never heard of those guys. LED lights at front, Factor 55 link. It's a hell of a slider. Get the Wee Boost up there. I don't know who makes that rack. Go fast camper. Go fast makes some cool stuff. Oh, barn door kind of set up here. You can open up left and right side. That's nice. I found the only Toyota FJ at SEMA hidden in the back. <laughs> There's one here though. And look, this one's sponsored by Wifey. His wife let him build this one. <laughs> It's got a lot of cool parts on here though. Who's this? This is Discover. Who's it? Oh, that's uh, Expedition One. Yeah. Expedition One tire carrier. Got two jerry cans on there as well. I love this ladder. Love it. The fact that it's not mounted to the door is awesome. Full size spare. I camper up top. Raised wheels. Ooh. King reservoir shocks. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Here's a nice forerunner. It's kind of subdued in the front. It's not crazy. They do have a, a little bit of a, like a bull bar to replace the plastics up front. If you weren't paying attention, you would almost would never even notice it. But yeah, this is a, a metal replacement for that plastic up front. It basically allows you to put a winch on here and it's very covert. Like you can hardly tell it's there. This one's made by Weston. There's a super winch tucked in there. And LEDs with tow hooks too. So you get all the things you kind of need without the over the top protection that you usually get with these bumpers that are just huge. Plus it probably saves you in price because it's not huge. 
And you don't have to remove all your factory uh, plastics up here. Because some people don't want to remove all that stuff. You know, it's a pain in the butt. Because if you look from here down, it's all, that's all your bumper there. That's a lot of work. Whereas this, it's just the center piece comes out and this bolts onto your frame. So probably saves you a lot of time too, as well as money. But you get tons of functionality. I like it. My sister has this uh, Forerunner, by the way, just like this. And then look at their rack. I like how it curves and matches the curves of the roof. A lot of times those racks are just floating above, causing all kinds of wind noise. Whereas this one, it's actually, it's got gaskets to keep the wind from just making all kinds of noise. It flies over the top. That's cool. I've never seen this before. Their LED lights are protected by some kind of plastic or Lexan shield. That's cool. I've never seen that before. They got some slots to mount things. So if you want to put more lights or mount awnings and stuff, you can just totally mount it right to yeah, the we're slots. Gonna be, we're going to be bringing our market. That's cool. Uh, no, not yet. And here's something I noticed too. Look at this. They make the rear bumper, obviously, with the tire carrier and all that stuff. But look, if you look close, there's a hole for your your shoe, and it's got traction in there. And then there's another hole there, so you can climb. That's basically like having a, a ladder on the corner to get to the top. That's cool. And then, of course, they're barn door style, where they open up wide. Nice. There's a ladder built into that one. There you go. Quick look at Weston. They make some cool stuff. I spotted Dakar Tundra. He's got a couple vehicles out here, I believe. But uh, I, I met him at Overland Expo a couple years back. He's got some cool vehicles for sure. But uh, yeah, this, this is his uh, Land Cruiser. Bandirante. I wonder what year this is. I don't know what year this is, but an older Land Cruiser. This is nice, man. Look at this. Look at the second doors on here. How it, how they built them back then. That was so cool. And then you got the uh, curved corner windows. God, those must be expensive if you break those. And then he's got the leaf spring rear suspension. Old school leaf springs in the back. Big old truck bed. Look at him, he's got a Demo shovel. It's an expensive shovel. That's a beautiful Land Cruiser though. And then he's got a uh, Land, Cruiser? Land Cruiser, yeah. And then he's got a little adventure camper on the back. A little tiny adventure camper or adventure trailer. All your camping gear goes back there. nice Lexus Troopy that's what it's called now this is cool this is an old FJ40 Toyota Land Cruiser obviously right there and instead of a V8 swap, they put electric motors in here. Look at that. So I was reading up on it a little bit. He was considering putting a big V8 in there. But a friend of the owner said, hey, why don't you go the other way and try electric? It'd be a lot cheaper. So he said, I think he said it was, he was able to do it for around 30,000 bucks which is still pretty cheap considering uh, how much you know a brand new crate engine and the labor and all that stuff costs to convert everything with all the custom work it's probably still a good deal and then the fact that you don't use any gas anymore no more tune-ups no more leaky seals no more rebuilds all that good stuff is all gone all the gas stuff is gone but now it's pretty much plug and play just change the brake pads and the tires 
Everything else is relatively maintenance free. That is cool. I don't know the range on it. it didn't, the info didn't say what the range is on it. But yeah, that's awesome, man. An electrified old school Land Cruiser FJ40. Now here is a, a Toyota that caught my eye because it it's old, but there's a lot of new things going on with this thing. I'm assuming it's built by Resurrection Land Cruisers because it says it right there. This is a, a Land Cruiser, obviously. Got the old original badging. I don't know what EMP40 stands for. Maybe Electromagnetic Pulse? 1940, maybe? I mean, everything on this thing is probably uh, not electronically controlled. It's probably vacuum and hydraulic and all that good stuff, it's, which is why people like these things because there's no computers to fry. Beautiful. I like this color too. It's like a desert, like desert tan. Or, uh, not tan. It's more like a sand, desert sand color. That's nice. It's a frame up restora uh, restoration. Manual locking hubs. You got to use your fingers to lock these hubs. And in many ways, that's better than the electronic disconnects because. You disconnect it here and none of your drivetrain has to spin because it disconnects right here at the uh, hub so everything doesn't get worn down from spinning look at that original dash that's nice top speed 100 miles per hour that's beautiful man look at that ac unit <laughs> Skinny little steering wheel, skinny little turn signals. That's cool. Let's look under here. Leaf spring suspension. Good old fashioned leaf springs. This thing probably bounces all over the place. I like how Toyota does the rear seats, they face each other full-size spare hanging off the back that has to be a custom bumper yeah for sure it's a modern design got the yeti on there that is cool man it's a beautiful look it's not lifted too high either those are probably real bead locks Kenda wheel or Kenda tires. There's a, there it is again. See, I thought Kenda only made like UTV and side by side and even bicycle tires. I guess they make road tires too now. That's the second time I saw ATV tires and bicycle tires on a car or a vehicle. Look at that. Um, look at that intake. It's like a pre filter that you like you would see on a tractor. It's like a kind of a cyclone action to get kick out all the debris before it sucks in the uh, air. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Check out this beautiful Land Cruiser. Oh my god. That is so nice. And look at this. It's got a Corvette engine swapped in. LS3. Naturally aspirated V8 beautiful it's got the uh, manual locking hubs maybe just a little bit of lift I'm not sure there's your uh, solid axle that's a factory Toyota solid axle on leaf springs strange there's no winch Toyo open countries is a 33s roof rack this is the gutter style since this is an older land cruiser looks like all original interior for the most part no cracks on the dash even though it's a 80s era oh by the way look at this beautiful thing you can pop out the windows man that's so cool you just don't see that in cars nowadays and then you have the truck bed style 
drop down gate and then the SUV upper part. Again, you just don't see that very often. That is so cool. Full size spare underneath. Look at that. That is so cool. This is, uh, I don't know what year this is. Let's just pretend it's an 88, 89. I guess. I don't know. But yeah. That looks like an 80s interior. That's so cool. It is a nice Tacoma. There's a lot of Tacomas here, by the way. Carbon fiber hood. Got to save some weight. Got a little tube bumper up front. It's got some armor on the bottom. Gear off-road wheels. Vehicle dynamics. Icon uh, A-arms. I'll text you when I get there right now. King shots. <laughs> He definitely wheels this thing because it's got rust and scratches and it's dirty. How it should be. Some of these vehicles out here at SEMA are so clean. Some of them will never even see dirt. But this one for sure does see dirt. <laughs> Area BFE. BFE, you know what that stands for? Leave a comment below. I know what it stands for. But I'm not going to say it. Oh, look, he's got his flag on the correct way. Leading the leading edge towards battle. The American flag should not be in retreat. I see that sticker wrong quite a bit on cars and trucks. That's nice. Very nice. All right, so in the back of the convention center, Toyota has some old trucks. Oh man, this brings back some memories. <laughs> so I don't know if I ever said this before, but this was my first truck right here. So my parents had an old, I think it was a, I think it was an 80 Toyota pickup. This is a 79, but it was the same body style as this. But yeah, this was my first vehicle. I learned how to drive in this truck right here. Yeah. Oh, that brings back memories, man. Look how long that stick shift is. Yep. This is the truck I learned how to drive on. I still remember, too, because I learned how to drive stick in the daytime at a back of a warehouse. And then it turned dark. And I, I didn't even want to look at the... I don't want to take my eyes off the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's a 74. With the long bed. It's in beautiful condition. <laughs> this is so cool, man. Looking at these old Toyota pickups. And then I actually bought one of these here. This is the exact color I had, too. I had one of these. Uh, this is an 89. Mine, I think mine was a 91. If I remember right about 15 years ago it was a v6 just like the same color I'm having flashbacks just looking at this thing I missed that thing mine was cool though because mine had an auxiliary gas tank right where the spare tire was so whoever had it before me they took the spare tire out and put a tank there and it was gravity fed to the regular tank so I got really long range on my pickup truck I missed that thing and they had little jumper seats in the back, just like this one. Yeah, jumper seats back there. Wish I would have kept it. And then... This is the truck my sister-in-law had in Hawaii. She bought one of these brand new back in the 90s. She was working in construction and they needed her to have a vehicle that could go on the work sites. And here goes a racing truck. But yeah, that's just a look at some old Toyota trucks at SEMA. I am at the Toyota booth. So why don't we just walk around? 
because uh, there's a couple things here I really want to see. Number one is the uh, Toyota Tundra, which I already saw in the uh, lobby of the new uh, West Hall. But now that I'm in the official Toyota booth, there it is right here. And this is the TRD. Oops, sorry. And I'm like, I can and then the, yeah, the red on the other. That one's got the red and two right there. There's that digital camo. Here's a look at the new TRD wheels. You got the Toyota word lettering in the grill. That's cool. <laughs> Gone is the uh, TRD Pro on the side, but now they have TRD Pro in the in the tailgate. Nice. Looks like the uh, Sequoia needs an update because it's looking old. That's the old Sequoia body. There's a green Tacoma. It's like I forgot the name of this one. It's like electric neon or something like that. And then look at this baby over here. This is a beautiful Tacoma. The bed rack, ARB fridge, rooftop tent. That's nice. Overlanding concept. Wait, are they saying that they could offer an overlanding Tacoma from the factory? That's kind of cool if they do. Because then you could just have everything you need all financed in one package. It would be kind of cool if they did do that. Yeah, of course. You may have yeah. Expedition 1. Yeah, that's who makes these uh, bumper chair. That's beautiful. Check this out. So here goes Tacozilla. I saw this uh, on social media prior to SEMA. So they took a Toyota Tacoma, chopped it up, put a fiberglass camper on the back. That's nice, man. Leather seats. There's your pass through. No windows. Nice and clean. That must be where the toilet is. Full size spare on the back. Oh, look at that red cedar floor. There's your toilet. Obviously, the bed's over the cab. You got a TV I can see. Sink. Two burner stove, got a little fridge right there. That's nice. Oh, you got it? Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It's like retro. And then oh what do we got over here? So obviously it's a tundra, but it's a wide body tundra. What? TRD A arms. It's actually stamped. TRD. What? So this is kind of like a, a Raptor killer. Because it's got the wide body. That's nice. Oh, Toyota people are going to lose their minds on this one. I'd be cool if you can get a special edition wide body tundra trd pro <laughs> that is awesome holy crap that looks so nice it just shows the potential that you can have with a new tundra that's beautiful i absolutely love it look see the bumper's gone everyone keeps complaining about the bumper in the front well guess what they uh, removed it and put tube bumpers 
That is beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I want my truck to look like. Oh, that is nice. Woo. Okay, and then the last one is, I seen this one too. Uh, the last one is this uh, Tacoma. And they took an actual Tacoma truck bed and built an adventure trailer out of the uh, truck bed of a Tacoma. That is cool. You got some storage in the front, a rack up top. There's your generator, your, your hot water, on demand hot water, toilet, toilet paper. Here's your uh, privacy so you can take a shower or go poo. You got a rooftop tent. And then it has these scissor jacks. So this whole platform can come down when you're traveling and you pop it up when you get to wherever you're going. Here's your awning. And then of course, swing away tire carrier with fuel. You get a little two burner stove with sink. There's your storage for food and stuff. That's cool. They have a pad there like a yoga mat. I don't know if I'd want to lay there though. Be kind of scared to sleep underneath that thing that's cool though that's built off of a tacoma truck bed here's a dometic dual zone freezer freezer on one side fridge on the other that's nice and it matches the tacoma <laughs> that is so nice All right, guys, there you have it. That is a look at the Toyota booth at SEMA. Hit that like button to support my channel. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Leave a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite vehicle at the Toyota booth at SEMA. Take care.